Okay guys, what's up? Plague Spores here. I am doing a Let's Play series of an older game. Pretty old, but a game I love called Ultima Online. What has sparked this is Richard Garriott, the original creator. He is uh, creating a new one, recreating it, called Shards, Shards of the Avatar. And that's going to be released soon to the public. And right now it's just backers, anybody who supports them pays. But uh, soon it, it will be on Steam for early access release in November. So we're going to go ahead and, you know, because of that and honor that, I'm going to go ahead and play some original Ultima Online. So I have a server here that I just spun up on my computer. And it's only me in here, and I spawned it with all the mobs and stuff. So it's just going to be me surviving the world and seeing what mischief I can cause and what adventures I can have on my own. Uh, maybe one day, you know, if I continue the series, we'll get to the point I have my own house, but for now I'll be logging out at uh, inns and then maybe uh, get a bedroll and so I can uh, create some camps. So let's go ahead and get this started. If you don't know, Ultima Online is from uh, the mid to late 90s. Oh, and you can see right here, I do play... Uh, I play legit, like, I uh, love playing this way with Dark Knights enabled, so when you play online with a lot of people, generally people just night sight, night sight, night sight, and turn off Dark Knights, but I think it really adds to the fact of the game is when you, you know, more realistic, as realistic as it can be with the 2D. So we are in the town of Britain, and this is like the main town. So I'm going to just go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to start out as a warrior. I start out swordsman, ship, as well as parry to help with my survivability. And I think I did start out with a little bit of heal. Now, um, Ultima Online, it's a unique game. It's like one of the forefathers of games, like for massive online games. And uh, it's, even today, there's thousands and thousands and thousands of people play. They pay, play the paid version and all kinds of free servers. So it's still a huge following, and it's just it's actually picking up recently. So you can always go and join you know, many of the free servers. I recommend you a gamer's hybrid, but there's plenty of them out there to choose from. You can always go to the paid versions. So up here north of Britain is a graveyard, which is really great for leveling up when you're young. So we're going to just go up here and try to kill some things. I'm going to go ahead and enter combat mode. And we'll see what we can find here, and it's dark. Not knowing what we'll find. Hopefully we don't die. So let's go ahead and try to find something, maybe. Mobs? No. Did I set this up right? That is a question. It's hard to tell, because night. <laughs> That's okay, there should be a uh, skeleton mage up here. If it saves stuff. It did not look like it saved. So we are going to pause right here, actually right over here so I don't die, and I'm going to go ahead and spawn the mobs. Just give me one moment, I'm going to actually run back to town. Okay, one moment, let me go ahead and uh, pause this and we'll spawn the mobs and get this going right. Okay, guys, we're back, and as you can see now, it is corrected. We can see it's daytime, and we can see there's lots of mobs, and they're attacking me, so I gotta be careful. Alright, so we're gonna see how I cannot die. So I got my health bar up here health, mana, stamina. And I'm gonna start with my bandages. And get this out of here. Not that, this. Okay. Gotta get this ghoul. He's gonna kill me. Actually, let me just run down here. So, I need to try to just aggro one at a time. Uh, 
I'll just heal up. In this game, you can uh, pretty much farm everything, you can create everything. Think of Minecraft, except you can't dig into like uh, tunnels and stuff. You can mine, you just can't go into the ground. Um, this game really was the first of its kind. There was like nothing here before this. I mean, for the all, you know, massive online of all the players. Before this, the only thing I remember is like the text-based games being so massive. But let's see if I can kite these guys a bit. Not Oof, that ghoul is like really hurting me though. I'm gonna run past them and see if I can take out this dude here. Come on, get him. So as you can see in the lower left hand side, um, I'm gaining skill level. Now in Ultima Online, you have a skill cap. You have a skill cap of 700 points. So you can have as much as you want in each uh, up to 100 in each skill. And there's lots of them, completely make it unique to you. But you can't ever go over 700. So there's lots of different ways you can take this. So when you play online with lots of people, there's people that are just like tailors and blacksmiths to sell their stuff. They buy and sell. There's uh, merchants. There's mages. You know. Tamers that tame animals and monsters and fight for them. It's a pretty in depth game. I'm just gonna say guards here, maybe. Oh, guards aren't enabled, okay. That's another thing I guess I'll have to work on here. Let's just run from him. See how my stamina is going down? So when you're low health, you run out of stamina. You run out, you can't move, so. It's kind of important here. Okay. There we go. There's the guards. Wasn't far, far enough in. Okay, we're just gonna go back up here. Keep healing. 41 bandages left. gold here. And so if I Alt K I can see my skills. And you can lock your skills so they can't go up or down. You can mark them to go up or down, whichever. So if you need to drop a skill, you just mark it as down. And click show real. And you can see here that I'm 51 out of 100 swordsmanship. Healing. You know what would really help is if I took this candle off since it's not nighttime and put my shield right there. Start building up this parry skill. That would help a lot. And we looks like we got some bone arms. That'll help. Some armor. Except I'm not strong enough, so I'll just grab that. Let's see here. Strength. I need 55. And I have 43. That'll naturally go up as I use skills. Oh, here they come. And whenever I do parry, you'll see a little white light pop up on my shield or my body. I'm getting wrecked though. <coughs> okay. Get away, skeleton! As you can see, it's pretty tough. It was a pretty tough game back in the day. And still is. Most people, what they do is they just sit there and they level skills to a certain point. Sometimes even going seven times skill, 700 points, all the way before even doing anything. They'll sit in like a friend's house or something and they'll just sit there and level. Um, but, you know, for the sake of this, these videos, there's no point in that. 
we want to experience the adventure. Now they did at one point try to come out with a 3D version of this. It was horrible. And like they've gotten pretty ridiculous with the servers, the paid servers today. A lot of just crazy stuff went completely away from uh, the direction it was supposed to be going. That's okay. Spawned a bunch of free servers and a lot of them were amazing. bones for making bone armor. If you're like a blacksmith, you can make armor. But I don't think I will be going that route for the sake of these videos. Let's go ahead and keep doing this for a bit. So when you die, your body is on the ground, and it does decay after some time. And I don't remember if these slimes poison or not. No, they just deal damage. Oh, shoot. There is a ghoul. But, um... Man, that ghoul really wrecks me. Gotta get this parry up so I can take them on. And these are just like little itty bitty guys. Can't even imagine fighting something big. I just die instantly. So, when you die, your body remains on the ground with your stuff. So you lose all your stuff except the stuff you started the game with. They're new player items. So you have to run back to your body if you do not do that in time. Oh, these are two goals. No wonder. So if you don't do that in time, your body will decay and you'll lose everything. Um, so it's kind of important, and you have to kind of watch yourself when you're in, like, dangerous spots. <laughs> Can't quite take those ghouls on yet. Um, so it's kind of iffy fighting dangerous things. Like, right here in a graveyard, I can probably run to my body and get all the stuff before they kill me. Yeah, I got all the stuff. See, there's a mage over here. Not that. Let's see. There it is, a bone mage. Yeah, I'll get wrecked. Let's come in here. There's a timber wolf in there. Now, like, I know your your gamers hybrid, that server, the, ch the graveyard here in Britain, was the spot for fighting. So, reds versus blues, which means, right now, click on my name maybe? Uh -huh. See, I'm a blue name. If I was a murderer, I'd be a red name. Uh -huh. um, so if I kill other players, uh -huh. I'd become a murderer. If they report me. They have to report me, but um, then I can't come into town limits without the guards killing me, so. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, back on hybrid, I was on Hugo Gamers hybrid for a long time. Um, from like about, I would say, 2001, no, earlier than that, but uh, when it first started, like its first year or so, and then um, all the way through 2008, so I still have my accounts on there, but just don't play, due to time, but I used to run a RP guild on there called The Creeping Doom. Which was a vampire kill, and that was pretty fun. Get off of me, Skeleton. Get off of me now. Once my uh, healing gets up more, I'll be able to easily heal all this. I'm just gonna walk away for a second and heal. So, when something's hitting you, it's harder to heal. You just walk around away, bandage yourself if I can get one off. As you can see, a lever left hander 
corner of the screen. That's where it tells you all the stats, um, your skill increases, any actions happening, and stuff like that. Um, get in the game with other players. If you chat, you will see that above there, your avatar. There's also a journal for a chat. Let's just walk around here. Take out this guy. Okay. So eventually my weapons, they will break. Uh, they do have a durability. As you can see, 40 out of 55 down there. I gotta try to finish this guy off. There we go. Swordsmanship at 54%. Nice. Ooh. Now here's an axe. Whenever you wield an axe, it uses swordsmanship, but then it also uses lumberjack skill. So you can use lumberjack skill to actually chop wood. To get wood from all these trees. I'll show you that in a second. It also adds a damage uh, bonus to your attacks when using axes for swordsmanship. <sighs> oh, how cute to have a bracelet. <laughs> okay. 16 bandages left. Right, let's see. 74 out of 254 weight. So I had this for armor. I also have this bear mask, and as you can see, it gives uh, resistance. So let's go ahead. The only problem with this double axe, I can't even wield it yet. But the only problem is uh, I won't be able to use parry. So I can use it soon. I could set up some macros so I could switch out off and on. Let me go get my bone helm back on. And kill the skeleton. There we go. Lots of uh, bone arms. I get anything else? Leggings. Please. Okay, I'm attack him. So there's a healer. All throughout the world there's wandering healers. And um, they will resurrect you. If you are a murderer, they will not resurrect you. So there's a uh, virtue, stuff like that. Virtue system, there's a faction system. Um, it's kind of like a guild system. But not really though, because there's guilds and then there's factions. Factions can fight in town, they can fight player versus player. Guilds can do the same thing, but they have to be warring another guild. But factions also get other benefits. Let's see. Yeah, I can't. I bet I can take this rat on. Kill this giant rat over here. I swear this thing kills me. Yeah, if you haven't played Ultima Online, you should, even now. If you're, I mean, if you can play games like Minecraft and stuff like that these days, the graphics are almost going in reverse, give this a shot. Give it a shot on an online free server. Um, you won't be disappointed. There is kind of a steep learning curve, though. Um, that's the only downside. It's not like WoW, where it's like, you know, very user-friendly. Oh, there's a lich. I will definitely die if I go over there. So let's go up here. Now there's a gypsy. 
I can make some money. Nope. Let's see. I can learn how to steal or snoop other people's bags. Or I could just use the skills to train those. Now, another thing you do with uh, regular corpses, not skeletons, is you can cut them up. And you can get some hides. And this thing to do with the hides, you can use these scissors here. Cut them up so they don't weigh as much. You can get the meat. It's raw meat with cooking. You can cook this. You can use it to make all kinds of stuff. Uh, on a, an actual server with other people. You can then sell your stuff. You can sell the leather and balls. You can use it to make armor or other stuff and furniture, stuff like that. And you can sell it to players and they'll pay you for stuff. So you don't even have to be a fighter. You don't ever have to leave a town, to be honest. I mean, if you just do trading stuff, you, you know, you sell your, your wares and you buy stuff from people who go out and farm it. I mean, you could literally actually farm, too. I mean, you can pretty much do anything. I mean, I've never, never haven't encountered a game like this before. So, it's night time. I'm going to go ahead and try to find my candle. Somewhere in here. Somewhere. I didn't throw it away, did I? Drop it. Ah, there you are. Doesn't give me much. If I cast a spell, uh, night sight, I would be able to see as if it was daytime. I might eventually use potions, not spells, to do that. I don't think I'm going to actually learn any magery. I'm gonna keep it old school and just just a warrior class. All right. Uh, sweet, is that a skinning knife? Sure it is. Yay, ring! That increased my majory that I said I'm not going to use. Why did that increase that? Oh well. Let's take out this wolf, shall we? Where is he? There he is. I got this. Maybe. I might have this if I can hit him. Got the wolf. Kind of feel a little bad. And let's go ahead and cut this up. Oh, must be in my backpack. You can tell it's been a while since I've played this game. There we go. Get some meat. Oh, geez. Here's a ghoul. Let's see what we can do here. Maybe. There we go. You can tell my swordsmanship's going up already. And my healing. Nice. Nice. Doing work now. Quarter staff. So if I want to use a uh, like macing skill, I can go ahead and use that. Got some ring mill sleeves I can wear here. Okay. Use a bandage. Oh, he's in here. Let's go get this guy. Just keep on using the bandages, keeping myself alive, nice and healthy. And actually finish off these guys. Those pretty much have a full set of bone armor, which is like the easiest thing to get. I think it would be too mean to kill that cat. 
Tell you what, let's go. Ooh, I'm almost out. I'm almost out of uh, bandages. So it's, let's say uh, we can go ahead and go here to town, sell our stuff. And then what we'll do is we'll go look for some sheep so we can shear them, um, spin the wool, and, and uh, make some cloth that we can then use for, for our bandages. Let's go into the blacksmith shop. We don't need to be in combat mode anymore. And let's see what we sell. I want to keep my dagger. Do I want to keep the double axe? Now I'm going to keep on using the shield. I think it's going to benefit me throughout this being by myself. I can sell everything else I want to, unless I want to look like a uh, a traveler with a staff. Get some extra gold from that stuff. And that's it here. Uh, if I recall, nobody really buys the bone armor, so I don't know why I'm saving that. I could probably sell feathers here. Sure can. There we go. Let's go over here to the weaponsmith see if I could sell if they'll by chance buy any of this bone armor. Nope. So I'm probably just gonna dump that into a trash can if there's one set up. Yeah, let's go over here. If I remember, the tanner is over here. We can sell these hides. See you, Tanner. Nothing. Where's the other guy? There you are. There we go. Oops. Definitely just right clicked on that. Okay. So now we have a solid 2,232 gold. So with that, I believe we can buy a better weapon. Let's see what we got here. Mace weapons, mace weapons. Fencing weapons. Nothing I want. Hmm. Bronze shield, buckler. Nowhere near that, so there's no reason to buy that. I think I'm good with my shield. What's the durability? Yeah. Maybe finish off the ring mail? That might be a good thing to do. hats. Uh, no helms for me, it looks like. Maybe a gorget. Oh, where is that? It must be up here. No. Uh, the leather gorget. There we go. And... I'll stick with my 
bow and helm. Forgot. Gotta take your pants off if you want to wear that pants armor. We'll just go ahead and keep all this over here. And we'll, we'll actually put this down here. Get my gloves, my leather gorget. Take the shirt off so I don't. Eh. I can take the shirt off. Okay, so now I feel like it would be beneficial to learn to cook because what you can do is uh, fill your stamina up. Once you're full, you actually hit more. That's why I'm not hitting as much. Uh, it's not just because my swordsmanship is weak, which it is, but it's also because I'm not fed, so I'm probably a little bit starved. So let's go ahead and see that stuff I... Oh, here we go. Axes, I don't want axes. I'm going to stick with a sword. Cutlass. Katana, that's what I have. Broadsword could be pretty good. I think I'm going to go for the long sword. Yeah, or the broadsword. Yeah, broadsword. And let's see if I can get them to repair. Repair? No. Pretty sure one of them will repair my stuff. If I can remember how. Maybe. I guess not. Just for that reason, I might actually pick up some... Blacksmith. So let's go ahead and throw my gold in the bank, which is down south of here. I don't need to be carrying all that gold around, it just weighs me down. And if I get weighed down, then my stamina goes down, then I can't move. the Bank of Britain. You can't really see much because it's a uh, nighttime. But I promise you, it's the bank. If I type, whoop, if I type bank. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this in here. You know what? I'm just gonna drop this stuff on the ground. Let it decay. If I wanted to decay faster, I could just uh. Put it in a corpse. I'm not too concerned. If it becomes cluttered, I'll come back and grab the stuff. And I want to go ahead and switch my sword. Don't care for the mask too much, or do I? I'll keep that. Okay, keep my clothes in case I die. I don't want to be running around naked or in a death robe. <laughs> Come down here, and we can go here to the butcher. Uh, no, we want to sell. We want to cook that. So tell you what, we're gonna come right here to this tree. Set to this tree. Double click a bladed weapon. And we're just gonna click on a tree. Not that rusty with this game. I swear that's what you do. Let me go out of town. 
Actually, you know what? Screw it. I love playing this way, but... I think that... We need a uh, potion. I need to see at night. Just for right now. Uh, let's see. I could probably just wait. Wait for the day to be over. I know as soon as I go buy this potion, with the gold I don't have in my pack, so never mind. Alright, tell you what, we're going to go ahead and stop this video right here. And when we pick up, we're going to try to... We're going to try to get some kindling from trees to cook the food we have here, the meat. And we're going to try to find some sheep and create some bandages since we're down to three of them, so a little dangerous. Um, if I have to, I will buy some uh, cloth or, or bandages, but yeah, we, it's a waste of money. We just make it. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click like, leave a comment, uh, shoot me a message. I'm always uh, looking for feedback. And I'll talk to you guys later.